Good afternoon, boys and girls. Mrs. Bosley here. I am here today to introduce some of our Minecraft challenges that we are setting in order to keep you nice and busy while the schools are closed. So the first thing we're going to do and the first challenge is all about building a base. Now it's really important to say that you can do it in survival mode if you want to, if you want that bit of extra challenge when it comes to gathering your resources and your materials, or you can do it in creative. Today I've chosen to do it in creative just because I think it's just going to be a little bit easier for me to show you what I want in this area. So I've created a brand new world but you could also do it in a world that you've already got if that's what you've chosen to do. Obviously the first thing to do is to decide where you want to have your base. It can be in any of the biomes, there's absolutely zero rules as to where you have it. I've just done it here because this is where I spawned and this sheep is photobombing me right now excuse you i have a little bit of a problem with animals at the moment actually because i've got a horse in there a sheep and inside my example house on this side i have oh they're gone i had some animals in there but they've obviously managed to get out which is good okay so there's a few rules when it comes to our challenges the first rule is that you can see at the bottom here i've only got two different materials so i've decided to go with quartz and dark oak and this is because it gives a really good uh contrast in textures and colors and i just thought it would really stand out when it comes to the features of my build the other rule is that on the ground your base is only allowed to be 10 by 10 blocks now the key word there is when i say on the ground so that means that it, above the ground it could be as big as you want it to be. It doesn't have to be 10 by 10 blocks at all, but it's really, really up to you. It's just that this bit here that's touching the floor is only allowed to be 10 by 10. So make sure you count it carefully. So I'm just gonna go through, I feel really bad for this guy. One second. Oh no, now I'm riding him. Sorry, I tried to help. I tried to help you, I'm sorry. Um, so here is some examples of what you want to do so you might want to mix up actually how you build the walls with your two i'm gotta be honest i'm not really very keen on this because it looks a bit like a chessboard or an oreo and i'm really just not a fan of how that looks but it's just to give you an example i want you to think about also oh another reason i chose these two is because of the blocks you can have with it so you can have stair blocks and slabs as well some of them you can only have the big planks or the big blocks you can't actually have the stairs or the slabs with it so be careful with your materials that you use so i want you to think about how you use them as well because obviously the stairs don't just need to be stairs they can go on upside down and side to side and those kind of things as well so here I've managed to create a window for using it. So I've done that by knocking three blocks out, having an upside down stairs, and then just a normal one at the bottom, which creates a bit of a feature. You can use one type of um, door and one type of glass slab as well. I don't think I can put one here. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. So if you want to use a color of stained glass, you can do that as well. It's up to you. But here I might have my door as well. But it's really up to you on how it looks. I've also decided that I wanted to create a bit of a feature with my roof. So I've done it in two different colours. I prefer this more than I prefer to be chessboard on the side of the wall. So it's up to you, really. As we said before, so the rules are 10 by 10 on the ground. So I've decided that I wanted to create some stair blocks here and then build it up into a room on the side and then i could keep going to be honest i could keep building upwards and having rooms that come out of it the idea is what i want to see is i want to see that you're being as creative as possible with your builds and that's why creative mode might be a little bit easier just because it's easier to get hold of things but i'm not going to stop anyone from using survival mode if that's what they want to do we're just focusing on the exterior at the moment so that means the outside of your house don't worry too much about the inside of your house we will look at that at a different time this is not my final build this was just to show you what you could do and some how it might look but i want to see as creative as possible i want you to share it with the school so then we can have a look and see what everybody has done so i hope that's enough and i hope i've remembered everything i am really looking forward to all of your creations 
So get this to us as soon as they're finished, get them to us and send the pictures. You can send it via Facebook, you can send it to the school email and the school Twitter account. I don't mind how you share it, just share it however you'd like. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.